Okay, all right, we're going to do a problem um, on amino acids. Um, if you read most textbooks, you're going to see there's two main ways to make an amino acid, by the Strecker synthesis, or we call the helvo hans zielinski modification type of reaction. However, on the board I wrote down that my favorite way to make amino acids is a much, much, much better approach. It's called using the diethyl acetaminophenate approach. Now, if you go to the Destroyer book, you'll see a question on the malonic ester synthesis. And you want to make sure you know that for the DAT. But if we take a look at the exact same problem we use for the malonic ester, which we all did in this class. So all the chemistry here, you know all this chemistry. So there's nothing new. I'm just going to show you something with a fancy name, but there's no new chemistry. That means that it could be fair game for the DAT. So when other kids see overkill, well, we love overkill. There's going to be about 40 or 50 years that are going to get a 30 on this that um, or those section. So let's go for overkill and bury these kids. All right, the first <laughs> thing we're going to do is we're going to take diethylmalonate and we're going to hit it with bromine and CCL4. All that's going to do is to remove one of the alpha hydrogens and get us set up for the main reagent. So all I did was I brominated the double alpha position. All right, and that's it. That, that's the hardest part. We're going to take this and we're going to react this with this reagent. Weinstein, do you remember what this reagent was, where we came across that? Gabriel's. Good. First time i ever seen this guy awake, but um, <laughs> it's the, the Gabriel reagent. So we're going to take potassium thalamide, we've done this, um, and we're going to react this. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply split off the K and the BR, and notice I put it in color where you can see where I hooked it up. So when you take off the BR and the K, we join them together to make what's called an n thalamino malonic ester. Now once I have this made, the next step I use sodium methoxide and ethanol. What's that gonna do? Remove the double alpha, like we always do, and then we're gonna simply do an SN2, and we're gonna capture a, um, a designated Halide. Now that halide would depend on what amino acid you're going to be making. Since the side chain of valine has this isopropyl group, that's why I'm going to use isopropyl bromide. And that gives us this structure right here. Now, all I'm going to do is hit it with acid. I'm going to do an ester hydrolysis, meaning I draw the dotted lines, I break the ester down the middle, and I break the amide, the imid, sorry, the imid, which is here. So an imid hydrolysis and an ester hydrolysis, and that puts me here after we acidify it. If you remember, we never, never want to have two carboxy groups on the same carbon. So we're going to heat it, we decarboxylate it, we take one of the COOH groups off to give CO2, and you are left with the amino acid valine. This is easily the best way to make an amino acid. So if, you, if you're going into finals exams and stuff like that, um, some of you are still taking all go too, go back to this tape because this will show you the best way to make an amino acid is by this procedure using the diethylmalonate, malonic ester. All right, I hope this helps. I got to go back. God only knows this group is laden with slackers and I got to whip these guys into some reasonable shape for the day, at least 25 and beyond. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.